Hey guys, my name is Ben, and welcome back to episode 14 of your Bucket or Spigot plugin tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at, as requested, um, name tags and how to use name tags above people's heads and whatnot. Um, so, the way that we uh, use this, and this is actually quite a useful uh, kind of suggestion, because it actually opens something else up, and that is um, APIs and how to use APIs in our plugins. Uh, so today, we're going to be looking at an API called iTag. Uh, now, if you've ever worked with plugins before, you'll know that there used to be a plugin or an API called Tag API, uh, which people would use to uh, get name tags and stuff. Uh, but unfortunately, they got discontinued with uh, the whole change around of Bucket and whatnot. And so MD5, I think it was, uh, kind of made a safe, reliable version of name tag for uh, the updates um, called iTag, which is what we're going to be using today. So the way we do this is, first of all, we're going to open up our Google, um, and we're going to search for iTag like so, iTag spigot, see I've already uh, searched for it, and you'll see first up here we have iTag, and this is happening, okay, right, <laughs> so iTag is the replacement of the tag API, um, which is what it was, uh, we also need to install protocol library, uh, so if we right click on that and just search for that, and that is Java is ready to be updated people, so if we also search for protocol library, we're going to download protocol library, or protocol lib um, from bucket, which I have already done, and we're going to download iTag uh, from the download now here, which has just downloaded it for me. Okay, so now if we go back to our plugin, the way to add these in is we right click our project, we go to build path, configure build path, add external jars, and I saved them somewhere. In my plugins folder, we have uh, iTag and protocol library. So click on both of them. They need to be in your plugins folder of your server. Uh, hit open and OK, and now they're in our plugin. So now we can use them. Uh, so the way that uh, iTag works, or uh, Tag API used to work, is it creates a new event for us, uh, which we're going to put into Other. Uh, and this is Player Receive Name Tag Event, I believe. So um, we're just going to call this, we're going to put this on Other, and we're going to call it uh, Player... Uh, is, it, is, it, is it Player? Let's let's check this. So the way we check this is, I think it's uh, an async. Uh, so async, control space, async, uh, Player... Player receive name tag event. So we're actually going to put it in the player package, uh, and we're going to call it player receive name tag, like so. And in the interfaces, we're going to hit listener, and then finish, like so. Okay. So this takes an event handler like before. I take makes a method. Uh, so on name tag res. I can't spell receive. Receive. That might be right. Might be wrong. So anyway, in the brackets, the the, the method is player or it's async so what this means is it's running an asynchronous thread uh, and if you don't know what threads are I'd read up about them uh, so it's not run in the main bucket thread it's run separately uh, so async player re player receive name tag event and we're just gonna call this event okay so this gets run whenever a player like looks at another player I assume <laughs> and uh, the, the name tag gets popped in uh, what we care about is the things that it gives us so if we hit event dot like we do with every event um, you see we have a few things here, so we have uh, uh, get named player, get player, get tag, get the uh, the ID of the unique ID of the player that's been uh, done, uh, is the tag modified, and all of this stuff, you can set the tag, you can set the UUID, uh, all we're going to be looking at today is the set tag, um, so in s the way we're going to do this is we're just going to make every player, like, instead of having a white tag, they're going to have a, a golden tag, okay? Uh, so the way that we, we do this is first of all we need to get the player who is, whose tag we have received. Uh, so we need to get to say player player equals event dot get. Now you see we have named player and we have player. Player is the player that's receiving it and named player is the player whose tag we're looking at. So we need to get the named player. Next we need to get the uh, string name uh, which is equal to player dot get name. And now after that we can set the player's tag. So event dot set tag then chat color dot gold like so gold plus name so all we're doing is we're setting the tag to the same thing but it has gold in front of them and that is essentially how to use the other uh, name tag thing so I'm gonna actually remember to register my event this time so it's a player event so I'm gonna put it here so pm dot register events and it's going to be a new player receive name tag and it takes this so I'm just gonna export this and I'll see you in the game Okay, so we're in the server and it's raining. Let's turn that off. 
the sun for the clear. Okay, so I've got two accounts on here, and you'll see that the uh, the name actually changes in the tab list as well because we're actually changing the name completely uh, like that. Uh, so if I just TP myself to Bench Three, who's underground, uh, <laughs> let's just kill myself. Right there we go. If I teleport Bench Three to me, so TP Bench. We'll see that my character here has gold uh, name, and if we look at my character on this screen, then he also has a gold name. Unfortunately, uh, what changing the name does is it means that you will have, because your name is different, your skin is also different. Um, and that is due to the uh, unique ID of the player, which is something that we'll be getting into in a future tutorial, uh, probably quite soon because that's quite uh, linky with this. Uh, but for now, all I wanted to do really was show you how to use this uh, name tag feature. Um, it does try and change your, you know, name to uh, the the skin of whatever player, and obviously there's no player with chat color gold plus your name after it, so it's searching for a person that doesn't exist, so it just returns the default skin. Uh, and the same does go with this account. However, um, this account doesn't have a skin anyway. So, <laughs> that is why. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope that helped. And uh, soon we'll be getting into kind of changing the skins of players with using the, uh, the unique ID thing. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.